Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and tonight we're on the red carpet for the Paley Fest LA premiere of Fox's Scream Queens. We'll be chatting with the entire cast, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cage. I'm like literally, <laughs> I'm schwitzing right now. <laughs> you got Jamie Lee I know, it's it's you. It's By the way, the only person you've ever met who literally turns on her own light. I mean, you know, got, you know what you need. And you, you know what? It's like, I see the light, it's not you're like, on. Wait, let me the get way, my it's going right. really high. You're like, let Jamie's me get like her own production crew today. Setting. She's like her own production crew. Is that how she Listen, is on set? Listen, she's a woman of many, many traits. And all good. It seems like you guys are having a blast on this show. Talk to me about being part of it and what can people expect heading into season two. It's been such an amazing experience. Season one was fantastic. We shot in New Orleans. And that was a really bonding experience for all of us, being away from home and being in a new place. Um, and now next year we're going to be filming in L.A. So we'll see what happens there. This show, it feels like, really connects with the millennials. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about some of the fun reactions you've had from your younger fans. I think that the funniest one was when they said that when Ariana was being killed that she was still tweeting at the exact same time and that's such a scary thing to think about but I thought it was one of the funniest moments on the show. You know what the thing I've taken away from this red carpet tonight, you guys have some fun together. I oh, can we, tell. It's we a like great cast. each other. We like each other and we haven't seen each other. So all of these people have been, you know, doing the work they do off of the show. You know, each one, Niecy Nash, literally has been in every television show that has been made in the last year. Uh, you know, this one wrote three books, that one's made six movies. It's a little nutty. When you look at this show, this is such a great change of pace for you. And you get to work with some of the best young actresses in I the do. business. Talk to me about getting to work with them. They're bringing the millennial audience in. Well, they're bringing the millennials, but the reason is, is because of the writing. You cannot diminish the quality of the writing we all, the reason we're all here is because of the writing. It's not because of really what we do, it's because the writing is so strong and it's, each part has been written for each of us. So that's unusual. One of the things I love with this show is the social media response is off the charts. What mm -hmm. have been some of the really cool fan responses you've gotten from the show? Um, well, Billy and I have been shipped as like a, like a ship on like a, an OTP, one true pair, like friendship goal called Bill Gale. That's and it's awesome. become like a hashtag and there are literal like accounts dedicated to our friendship that just like post our Snapchats and like, they're just like, moms, like we love you. Like whoever you're the best. And it's just so cool like that they like, love our friendship like <laughs> so much and they love the show too. And it's just, it's really strange to see that, but um, really cool. And, um, the outpouring of support for Chanel number five, who's constantly made fun of in season one. <laughs> um, they're like, we, we feel so bad for you. Like, I'd like you on Tinder. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> You've had so many great guest stars, and there's been so many rumors about what's going to happen in season two and who might be joining. Who's one guest star that you would die to have on the show? Justin Bieber. I like that. And also, like, like Mer uh, Ice-T from, like, SVU. Like, what a strange dynamic from Justin Bieber to Ice-T. <laughs> imagine, but like imagine that. Like just think about it in your head and, and you'll agree. Nice like I love Ice-T in SVU is my favorite show. So like maybe a Screen Queens SVU crossover. <laughs> this show, ton of fun. Season two, what can everybody expect? A ton more fun. <laughs> we'll see. You guys are moving to a hospital, I hear. We're moving to a hospital. My dream. Finally being fulfilled. <laughs> what I love about this show, you never know if you're going to live or die. So no. when you get that script, what's the first thing you do? Flip to the end, find my name. <laughs> the, the fan response to this show has been insane, especially on social media and people watching it after the live broadcast. It's been awesome. It's so crazy. It's been such a surreal experience. It's awesome. What's been the most fun reaction you've gotten? Getting called mom. And I just made a joke about it on the show, and then it actually started happening. 
That was crazy. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis was talking about how Nisi Nash has done every show. Is this one of your favorites? <laughs> yes. This is one of my favorites. Playing Mama Denise? What? It's a, this is a good time. This show, I love. It's got comedy, it's got horror, it's got drama. What drew you to it when you first got the script? What you know, was to like? be honest with you, Ryan had me at hello. You know, Ryan Murphy calls like and, and you just say yes. You know, I hadn't even seen the script. He said, I got a part that I think you would be good for. And I said, okay. And then I, I said, I, I'm in. And then I said, oh, wait, what do I have to do? So I said yes before I even knew.